Alright guys, what is up? Welcome back to Minecraft with Lone Debater 7, and continuing on with our redstone logic, I thought I would just show you guys how to construct a simple 8 input AND gate. Um, so that's what we've got here. Uh, not too difficult to construct really, uh, but let's kind of dive right in. That way you can take a look and see how you would go about doing this. As it is set up right now, all 8 switches have to be turned on in order for the output to light up. I went ahead and strung this redstone in the center here, if you can see it. Um, that is the output from this, that way we can monitor it a little bit easier. But let's go ahead and just make sure this works. So we turn on input 1, still not on, 2, still not on, 3, still not on, 4, ooh, where's that connecting? Um, oh, okay, um, that makes sense. <laughs> So, let's not turn that on yet. Let's just go this way. Because what really should be happening is I should be connecting these inputs differently, but that's okay. So, this technically doesn't work. It's basically just a 4 AND gate on either side. Uh, because the way I have this built is I basically have just stacked AND gate. So if I turn all these off, the input's still going to be on. So this is basically a dual 4 input AND gate. So you could utilize this to basically control... Um, I, I don't know what you would control with it, I guess. But let's say that you want to make it so if these four inputs are receiving signal, you want, the, you want it to output a signal, or if these four inputs are on you want it to output a signal but if any combination outside of these four or these four is turned on or all eight um you don't want the signal outputted uh that that's kind of what you could use this for the way i constructed it um is i built four and gates up at the start to control each of these inputs then i basically just connected it into another and gate on either side and then that channels through to the, um, what do you call it, the output. So to fix the issue we're having, where it's basically just a 4 input AND gate instead of an 8, let's see if we can't figure this out. So basically what's happening is when all four of these are turned um, on, it is triggering this torch right here. And that's not what we want to have happen because we need both torches uh, to be turned on in order for this to work. So, I guess what we could do is if we... Because, I mean, it looks like this should work. We have the AND gate built, right? Um, cause, like, let's just test this again and turn on these four... So it looks like it's just if this one is turned on. That is weird. Why is it doing that? Oh, it's because it's connected here. I'm stupid. I'm sorry, guys. This should work as an 8 input AND gate. That is my mistake. Let's do this and see. So if we turn on these four inputs, the output should still be turned off. But it turns on anyway, which is odd. Because it shouldn't be doing that. Um... So those got flip state, and it powers that. I mean, why, why no work? Um, okay, maybe what we need to do is remove a not gate that I've got here, because I did input a not gate after the first set of AND gates, so, or well, the first set of dual input, so like right here this is a not gate uh, to flip it so it matches um, so maybe that is what we are missing is the not gate so let's try adding a not gate in right here and see if that solves our little problem so we'll do that and that and we do need to move this bad mama just a little bit so we are gonna have to dig and that is a-okay um, and I will have it come in the back. Cool. And we'll do the same thing on this side. So, boom, boom, boom. Whoop. Like, 
not like that. Um, what am I doing wrong here? It should work the same, uh, but it's not. Okay. Sorry, guys. Um, I thought I had it built right. I should have actually tested it before starting recording, but that's okay. You kind of get to see what types of troubleshooting you go through when you're trying to design these things. Um, okay, so I had it go down here, drop down a second, and then come back up, I think. Let's try that. Yeah, that's working. Okay, cool. So there is that. Let's see if that fixed our little problem. Um, no, it actually inverted the output. So if we throw in, just pull that comparator out, or the repeater rather, um, and throw in one more NOT gate, just to flip the input, or the output rather. So now, let's go ahead and see. Got those four flipped, it's still not on. If we flip these four, it should turn on, but and it did. So as you can see, that is a simple eight input uh, AND gate. So only when all eight inputs are turned on will the output turn on. If you turn off any of the eight, um, it will remain off. So that is kind of how you could go about constructing an eight input AND gate. So basically what you do, you get your eight inputs. You wanna keep them spaced apart because the redstone will connect. You'll take eight blocks, put a redstone torch in front of all of them, connect it in the center, going into another block out the front. So there will be eight blocks, four blocks, eight blocks with torches, four blocks with torches. Then you'll have another four blocks with torches a little bit farther up, um, connected to these blocks here. Uh, from that, you will connect in the center between these four torches and run that through to another two blocks with torches on them, which then will run into another two blocks with torches, connect the redstone in the middle into the final block with a torch, and that will give you your output. So that is a simple construction of an eight input AND gate within Minecraft using redstone. Um, obviously, eight inputs is one uh, bit of information. So, you know, you could effectively multiply this several times um, in order to kind of build several bits worth of information um, that you can input to process. Uh, with that being said, you would need some way to store the inputs in your memory, in some sort of memory, which I know you can do with Redstone. I need to tinker around a little bit before I kind of show off how to create memory storage for inputs just because it's a little bit more complex and I haven't played with it for a while um, and I don't want to show you guys wrong. But anyway guys, that is an 8 input AND gate. Uh, you could definitely use this for like a super complex combination door. Let's say you want to have 8 levers that all need to be pulled to open it out of say 16. So you just make another 16 or 8 levers next to these or whatever. Um, doesn't necessarily matter which levers are used for the imp you know, the input to turn it on. Um, so, you know, if you have 16, you could use like 1, 3, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, I think. And that's 8. Whatever you pick 8 out of 16, doesn't matter which ones, as long as you have the inputs going into a system. Similar to this, uh, the key points to note is you are using a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven AND gates to give you your eight inputs. So effectively, you're using one less AND gate than the number of inputs you have to complete, to make this work. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, this is scalable. So if I were to add say like another four inputs basically you can do the same thing you can stack your and gates kind of like this you would basically just add another one two if you're adding four more inputs that combine into one here and then you would have it link in at this point here so you would add a second block um, and create a th another and gate at this point that would then feed out to your output and that would work. Um, so it is scalable. You just have to add more blocks, torches, inputs, all that noise. So I hope this was helpful in showing how to kind of design an 8 input AND gate. If it was, be sure to like, comment, subscribe as always. And until next time, this has been Lone Debater 7, and we will see ya.